this is Bhavna Agarwal from India today. Hi, Kat, how are you? Firstly, I have to congratulate you. I have to tell you, I've already got my favorite superhero, She-Hulk. I'm very green in support for She-Hulk, actually. I love it. How are you doing? I'm so great. Nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you so much. And firstly, I want to know, I mean, talk to me a bit about how was it directing Mark Ruffalo as Hulk and Tatiana as She-Hulk in the same series? I mean... It must be terrifying and exciting at the same time. You know, one thing you can't do is direct chemistry. And the minute they started playing off of each other, I knew they had chemistry and that my job would be fairly easy. And so it really became about allowing them to play off of each other and um, just have fun as Hulks. You know, the show is very refreshing in a lot of ways. I mean, the approach is very different this time. It's not your stereotypical uh, Marvel movie that we have always watched, right? So what was the most challenging part for you as a director as well? Well, one thing that I love about a long form series is you get the luxury of getting to know the characters um, in more regular situations. Films have ticking clock plots and it's really about how do we get from point A to point B. And in a series like this, you get to see these little relatable human moments and kind of peer behind the curtain of being a superhero. Um, and so the challenge was always balancing the large scope and the cinematic qualities that the audiences have come to expect in a Marvel project while also finding those small intimate human moments I agree to that when I watched I was like oh my god this is so relatable but at the same time the one dialogue in the trailer which really hit me was that uh, you can be a part of Avengers so I really want to know is she how going to be a part of Avengers only Kevin can answer that <laughs> <laughs> You're clearly dodging that question off. But lastly, I also want to know. You know <laughs> I can tell you that in the series, she is a very reluctant superhero and she has built a life that she's very proud of and a life that she loves. And she doesn't want to abandon it to go and run off and save the world. Um, you know, things things change. Never say never. But that is the stance that she takes in our series. <laughs> so lastly, I also want to know, I mean, in the recent MCU uh, universe, we have seen that a lot of Indian actors or just like Asian actors have also made their debut. Recently, we had like Farhan Akhtar and Fawad Khan debuting in uh, Miss Marvel. So I want to know, where do you see the future of, say, uh, would you want to perhaps, say, collaborate with an Indian actor in your next She-Hulk project, perhaps? Well, you know, I actually worked with Jamila Jamil um, on Marry Me and then brought her to the MCU. Uh, so I love collaborating with actors and working with them repeatedly. Um, it, yeah, in terms of the future, we shall see what happens. I'll Thank say you, this. I think Jamila should have a spinoff. How about that? Oh, lovely. Lovely. <laughs> Titania, to that. Titania the show. Villain at large. Wow. I love the ring of it already. Thank you so much, Kat, for your time. It was lovely having you. Thank you.